on behalf of the National Football Foundation and the Health South Corporation, I am proud to announce that this year's recipient is from the University of Alabama, Barrett Jones. First of all, I'd just like to say that I'm uh, extremely honored uh, to be up on this podium tonight. Uh, it's a pretty hard act to follow after all the people I just saw walk up to this podium. Uh, I'm definitely the, the poorest by about uh, a lot of dollars. Um, and, and like I said, I'm so honored. I just want to say thank you to a few people real fast. Uh, thank you, first of all, to the National Football Foundation. Uh, thank you to Fidelity and all the rest of the sponsors. Uh, also to the, the 14 other nominees. Uh, the best part of this whole trip is has been getting to meet these guys. Uh, they've all been extremely nice. Uh, with the exception of one, uh, there's been this linebacker from Notre Dame who's been giving me weird looks the whole time. <laughs> but I don't know why. He's he just, he's kind of, every time I turn around, he's staring at me. So, uh, I don't know what it's called security. But uh, anyways, uh, on, a, on, on a serious note, these guys are, are awesome. Um, the reality today is that uh, college football is, is at an all-time height of exposure, uh, and the, the people who play college football are role models, and everybody up here on the stage has chosen to use that role model status in a positive way, and uh, just are, there are 14 of the, of the finest people I've ever had the opportunity to meet. Uh, I'd also like to thank everyone from Alabama uh, who, who made this possible for me, Coach Moore, uh, Coach Saban, uh, and all my teammates. Uh, <clears throat> I'm going to tell you guys something about Coach Saban that you all might not know. Uh, he's getting a little nervous, I know. Uh, Coach actually, one of his favorite things to do during recruiting season is come to really long banquets. Uh, he loves it. And uh, he, he loves banquets, he loves traffic jams, he loves waiting in line, he just loves sitting still. Uh, so we're glad to have him here tonight. Uh, I, I think a lot of people know uh, how good of a football coach he is, but I don't think what he gets enough credit for is how, how good of a job he does developing young men. Uh, the principles that he teaches us uh, not only apply to football, but also to our lives. Uh, he teaches us things like paying attention to the details. Uh, it teaches us things like not comparing ourselves to others, but doing the best we can uh, and, and setting a standard for ourselves to compete to. So I'm very grateful to have uh, learned under a man like him and will continue to uh, try to live out the life lessons he taught, he's taught me. Uh, also, my parents and my, my family. Uh, I'm very close to my parents, and I, I know there's no way I'd be up here today without them. Uh, when, I, uh, when, I, when I left for college, my dad told me something that I'll never forget. He said, uh, Barrett, never forget who you are and whose you are. Uh, and I've tried, to, I've tried to live up to that uh, my whole life. And uh, I've tried, he's taught me lots of great principles about how to work hard, uh, how to help others, how to give back. And uh, I, I hope I've made him proud. Uh, also, last, last but certainly not least, I'd like to thank Jesus Christ, my Lord and Savior, uh, for blessing me. Uh, beyond my wildest dreams and providing me with opportunities that I, I would have never imagined uh, that I'd be able to, to accomplish. Uh, last of all, I'd just like to say I'm so grateful to be here tonight. Thank you. Uh, have a great night. <laughs> 